stop, 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 stop. Ever thought you could drive a double-decker bus? <laughs> There's plenty of people who think they can, with thousands applying every year. My dream was to drive in London. Here I am. <laughs> Come on, put your foot down. Let's see. For those that make it onto bus driver training, the hard part has just begun. Ah, what am I doing here? A team of specialist instructors has six weeks to whip recruits into shape. What's a bus learn for? It's a course which pushes trainees to their limits. Oh, I don't have nightmares tonight. What if I'm going to give up today? <laughs> for the lucky few who make it, oh. a new career beckons behind the wheel of one of the biggest vehicles on the road. You don't want to get on here, love. Trust me. With the lives of over 80 passengers in their hands. <laughs> Welcome to basketball, Evan. At the Double Decker Depot, 50 recruits are gearing up for another busy day behind the wheel. Good luck for today. Have a good drive. Bye. Be late, bro. Grandmother Michelle Sandys is two weeks into her training, with plenty to learn. I've got to say, you could have a, a really bad hair day every day here. <laughs> Today, her driving progress is going to be checked by one of Arriva's most experienced assessors, <laughs> Jim Johnston. <laughs> right, move off when you're ready. Where do you want to go? <laughs> When she began her training, Michelle had a small problem. I have little legs. That's OK. There's a right. crankshaft. Yeah. I might be the best driver in the world, but it's no good to me if I can't reach the pedals. Give it a little touch on the gas, then. And her first lesson came to an abrupt halt. You either know about air brakes or you don't. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh. And I obviously didn't. That's what happens when you've got little legs. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll find you a bus with um, stabilisers on it. And <laughs> Michelle's canned a 25-year career at the co-op to try and make it as a bus driver. I am quite angry with myself because I could have achieved quite a bit by now if I had maybe had the guts to do it sooner. On this drive, Michelle's trying not to make Jim see red. Oh, sorry. Have you got a spare 50 quid? Traffic lights tend to catch me out a little bit. To a bus driver, Green is bad. It can change at the drop of a hat. Oh, you bah. Then you're in trouble. Sorry. Your bus takes a lot longer to stop, and you've got a load of passengers, which will wind up all over your floors. That's not good. The problem isn't just when Michelle stops, it's where she stops. How would you know when to go? the lights. Oh, sorry. Important part of the yeah. road, down there. <laughs> With Jim's help, Michelle has finally seen the light. You too could be trained by another company and end up driving like that. <laughs> We're going to stop there. The approach to lights. The faster you're going, the earlier you come off the gas. And if they do start changing, just, just like going. you said, pass the point and no return. Point taken. Oh, I'm glad it was. <laughs> Michelle will improve as long as she follows Jim's advice to the letter. All you have to remember is uh, dogs. I doors, gears, don't know what the only S is. I tried being clever there, but... <laughs> <laughs> Michelle has three weeks to get ready for her test. Even with all the training that I've had, I can still make mistakes. But I'm still passionate about doing it. And I will. Sean Ducey is only 20 years old. He's well into his motors. It looks like he's got a comfy seat. <laughs> I love driving. I get in my little car and I'm just sh shutting about the place. Driving the bus is different, but I'm still driving. He can't wait to get behind the wheel of a 10-ton double-decker. 
Let's jump in, Mr. Hoodie. Oh. I've drove so many cars, I've drove vans, and I find it easy as anything. Instructor Keith Wildman's challenge is to transform the boy racer into a bus driver. Slow down, get ready to stop, get ready to stop. Feel the brakes, you're, on. you're not on the brake, you're on the gas. You should be covering the brake. Slow it down, look, slow it down. You're not seeing the hazard for what it is. Slow the down. Bus, yeah. Yeah, I know what it is, but you're approaching it as if you're in the car. You've got to get out of that car and get in the bus. They've got to be aware of what's happening around them. And some young fellas, they're at the peak of their powers. There's no fear factor. In your car, you'll be round and gone. This is, look, think how big it is. Think of what you're driving. You're trying to put a, an old head on young shoulders. Sean's rapidly heading for trouble. Don't cut over, look, because of that railing. Don't cut over. No, 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 no. So we go. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Handbrake on, stop. Oh, right, yeah. How much space you got on the right? A lot. So what do I tell you on the left-hand bend? Stay to the right. Sean's first lesson has been too fast and furious for Keith. If I hadn't been there, he'd have had a crash with a bus, he'd have turned left into a railing. Your driving brain is still geared into that car. Most errors are made when people rush around. I've learned more stuff about what you got to do, all the hazards. I thought it'd be easy to drive a bus, like, so hard. Mother of two, Nadine Bourne, is approaching the end of the six-week course. She's getting some final practice in for her upcoming test. So, so, so. Nadine has a law degree. However, qualifying as a bus driver will give her job security and more time with her family. Being there for my children is more important to me than becoming a solicitor. That's more rewarding for me, yeah. Nadine's training didn't get off to the smoothest of starts. Ooh, there's your curve. My first one, no more. Curve number three. No. Yes, out, out. Oh. They've all got it in for you, Kathy. Kathy? Kathy Kirby. No! Looking good at the moment. Today is test day. Her instructor, Bob Sculfer, believes she's ready. Yeah, she do it. Definitely. That was good. Well done. Uh, I can't really start being nervous, because then I'm going to start shaking, and that won't be good, and don't want that. <laughs> Nadine has 90 minutes to conduct a safe and professional drive for the independent examiner. Morning, Nadine. <laughs> One serious fault will result in failure. Her test is over. She faces an agonising few seconds. OK, Nadine, that's the end of the test. Sorry to say you haven't passed today. Nadine's failed in dramatic style. Five serious. A serious for mirrors. That's the first time I've ever had a serious for mirrors. I froze. I literally froze. This is serious stuff. I'm not you passing and all that. I'm on about hurting people. And I must admit, I feel like rubbish. I'm in trouble. Oh, dear. <sighs> You've got to let them show the examiner what they can do, and in that case, she showed him what she can't do. And that's drive a bus properly at the moment. Whether she gets another test or not, it's not my decision to make. Nadine's bus driving future hangs in the balance. I need to get this together. Otherwise, I'm in deep Coming up. The speed limit. Is a limit, not a target. It's emergency stations for Sean. I have to pass. There's no ifs, whys, or wherefores. And it's make or break for Michelle. OK, Michelle, that's the end of the test. After her disastrous test failure, 
Nadine has been granted a retake. Her instructor, Bob, hopes one last lesson will help fix her faults. We need to concentrate on what's going on. And Nadine was concentrating on everything else. It's a large, heavy vehicle they're aiming down the road. You lose concentration for one second, somebody gets seriously hurt. He's got a plan to keep her focused. Um, well, we're going up the West End today. Try and raise all round awareness so she can't look in any shops. And I might try and wind her up a bit to see if I can get her to react. All right. Central London may be a shopper's heaven. For a trainee bus driver, it can be hell. He didn't even look, did he? Like idiots crossing in front of me. He's got to make his delivery. Well, we need to deliver him to the hospital. It's time for Bob to put his plan into action. Wonder if we spot any bargains. Cool, look at all them handbags. Yeah, have fun. One of my favourite shops here. Got a nice pair of boots here. Yeah. You like to come up here shopping, the thing is incredible. This is just torture. You're taking liberties, I swear. Who would here. do that? Yeah, you would. I'm busy focusing on the road. Nadine's not letting herself be tempted. It's a big bus. There's a lot happening. I'm having to make sure that I don't hit anyone or I don't cut anyone up. She's staying focused by conducting a running commentary. But this cyclist deciding to. Yeah, all right, what you mean? I've got one bus indicating to go out. I've got a cyclist on my right. Cyclist, come on, pass me if you're going to. All right, he's going to move out, but there's a jump, Shan Box. All right, let's go. Good speed. Well done, mate. Well done. Right, we'll have the next bus stop on the left, please, Nadine. Nadine, going to let you into a little secret. All that. Yeah. was a test to see if you could drive in a heavy populated area and focus on what needed to be done. And you passed, you passed with flying colours. So it just goes to show, you focus, everything falls into place. <laughs> it's a matter of multitasking. I'm a woman. <laughs> it happens. We can do that sort of thing. After six weeks of training, it's the day of Michelle's test. Her chance of becoming a fully qualified bus driver. Today is D-Day for me. Hopefully God's on my side today, <laughs> I hope. Along the way, Michelle's had traffic light issues. Have you got a spare 50 quid? But with three weeks more practice, she's been given the green light for her test. Work hard for this, because I want this. I really want this. And nothing will rain on her parade. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> Except perhaps a leaky bus. Don't crash. I'm going to come out of this bus looking like I've wet myself. <laughs> I have to pass. There's no ifs, whys or wherefores. Now Michelle has 90 minutes to prove to an independent examiner she's got what it takes to become a bus driver. Test over. Has Michelle fallen short? OK, Michelle, that's the end of the test. Please take pass. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Michelle's now a qualified bus driver. Now is my time. Now it's onwards, upwards, and sky's the limit. Wow. That is fantastic. Oh, man, <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Car enthusiast Sean is three weeks into the course and still coming to terms with all there is to learn. Last week was in a classroom all week. This week we've been driving. You've got to think about the bus and other road users, pedestrians, cyclists, motorbikes. You've got to think about everything. You've got to give your brain a chance to just absorb it. And trust yourself, you probably know more than you think. Yeah, yeah. The 20-year-old was never a model pupil. Back at school, I was a bit of a troublemaker, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> done what I wanted, when I wanted. <laughs> After three weeks of training with his instructor, Keith, Sean still has some rough edges. Hey, don't panic, we're back on the road. This isn't like school, this is the workplace. 
and I'm here to educate. Why did that happen? I think I won them. I knew there was training, but I didn't know there was anything like this. I thought getting a bus would drive, and that's it. But learn by mistakes. Why did I do that? She wasn't looking where she was going. She wasn't concentrating, and you didn't do nothing about it. Why not? So I didn't see her in time. You don't see her as a hazard. She's a definite hazard to you. So much going into my head, I'm getting headaches. <laughs> Despite Keith's advice, Sean is still in a hurry. Relax, just relax, OK? Safely. Driving a car, I can take corners at 30, 40 miles per hour. If you put a 60 liter engine in a car, it'd be gone in seconds. But the size of the bus, it can't pull away. But see how quickly you can get in trouble if you just lose that bit of concentration? Relax, don't do it. If you've got to go through it. <laughs> I love this. Back in the depot, Keith gives Sean his full report. The speed limit is a limit, not a target. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to get up to it. Why are we here? To teach me how to, to drive a bus. To get you to get through the PCV test, passenger carrying vehicle licence. Your cargo is precious. They're relying on you to keep them safe. You've got to drive like an old man, basically. Yeah. Seriously. But I love the confidence. Just drop the speed. Sean has three weeks to mature into a bus driver. <music> Having passed her test, Michelle's on the early morning shift, driving the 415 from Tulse Hill to Elephant and Castle. I'm not worried about the pedals now. <laughs> Luckily for me, the newer buses have fully adjustable seats, so my little legs fit any pedals. <laughs> Out on the road, Michelle's finding life in the bus lane can be tough. On the run that I'm on at the moment, the cyclists, they're hard work. They come up the side of you where you think nothing could come up the side of you. They get up the side of you. They weave in and out. They're behind you, in front of you. They're like ants. They're all over the place. They're everywhere. <laughs> And it's not just the cyclist keeping Michelle on her toes. Tap it the other way. I'm not a very high-tech person. Call me old school if you want. <laughs> Is it gone completely? Hi, number three. My ticket machine stopped working. Not working. Oh, it is working now. Ah. I haven't quite got it, but I'm getting there. Oh. Oh, you're a lucky girl. Eight weeks into her six-week course, Nadine's finally ready to take her test again. When we get to that round of arms, indicate left. There was a sign that said it was left. Fail this time, and her bus driving ambitions are over. She's staring into the abyss, as it were. I can do it. I can do it. It's not just Nadine who's got it all to prove. Sean! Morning. 20-year-old Sean's completed the training and has his test too. Yay! Don't panic, we're back on the road. Over the last three weeks, he's shaken off his bad boy image, and with the help of instructor Keith, he's risen to the top of his class. Well done. <laughs> Keith is unreal. He's teaching us so much. He is a good instructor. I'll give him that. <laughs> it isn't Keith Sean has to impress, but the independent examiner. Should he pass? Yeah. Can he pass? Yeah. Will he pass? I don't know. He has 90 minutes to safely guide his double-decker around the streets of London. Sean's returned. Has he shown the examiner the maturity required? 
OK, Sean, that's the end of the test. I'm pleased to hear pass. Congratulations. Thank you. That man from the PSA, he said yes. Mm -hmm. Sean's career as a bus driver starts here. There you go. He's looking forward to the perks. I'm sure text my mum. <laughs> text your mum. <laughs> Finally, start working and earn some money <laughs> and give her some. <laughs> <laughs> Nadine also has some news to break to her family. Hello. Hi, Mum. I saw you out. You do need them. Don't you? Yeah. Hi, Mum. Mummy got something to tell you guys. Now, you know when I failed? Mm-hmm. What did you say? Um, I said, well, you tried your best. There's lots of jobs out there. You can be a lawyer, doctor, an astronaut, actress. Yeah. You think? Yeah. But Mummy worked so hard for this one. She worked really hard. She... Mummy passed. <laughs> Did you believe that I failed? Seriously, I thought that was like a paper to say that you failed. <laughs> no. Mummy passed today. Even though I've said I wasn't going to keep going, even though I said I'm done, it's, that's it. But it's for them that I've continued to try. It's hard for them. Very, very proud of her. Yeah, but you bet. <laughs> As a qualified bus driver, Nadine has landed a job for life. Now it begins, yeah. Finally. <laughs> Nadine will soon be driving one of London's iconic red buses. Joining Sean. Mm -hmm. Chilled out job. Just sit there, relax, drive. And I love driving, so it's good for me. And the other 200 trainees who have passed in the last 12 months. We a little bit. With millions of passengers taking the bus each year. We passed the bus stop, bro. No one pressed the bus, sir. The instructors will continue to have their hands full, teaching the next generation. Whoa, 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 whoa of double-decker drivers. Let's go play with the traffic. Well, it's not all glamour for Lisa from Beverly Hills. Vanderpump Rules is on ITVB next. Everyone's uncertain about the future for Team Scorpion with the last in the series on ITV2 in a moment. Here, though, a brand-new series heads out for a slice of real life with the Fraud Squad.